What's up, guys? It is Jack and Ryan from Achievement Hunter, and we are doing five facts in Tom Clancy's The Division. It's not a competition again, is it? Because I sucked last time. Oh, yeah? No, it's The Jeff Division. We, we've been playing this. I thought it was that actually was uh, Siege. is actually The Division. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we've been playing a lot of Division, and Jeremy's over there. He's, he's like level 30 already, so. Hello. Uh, yeah, so anyway, let's do some five facts to see if we learned something about this brand new game. You ready? Here we go. Number one, originally Ubisoft planned for The Division to be console exclusive. However, after gauging consumer interest by asking fans to sign an online petition, they eventually decided to release a PC version as well. So, I'm going to say true. <laughs> that is true. Yes, yeah, so I, I didn't even know there was a PC like I version win this game. One. Hmm. All right, number two, the game setting of New York was not only chosen due to its landmarks and cultural significance. In fact, part of the reason New York was chosen is because of its history of resilience and toughness after terrible events like the attacks on 9-11 and Hurricane Sandy. Also, there's so. probably like 700 models of New York you can just buy out there yeah. instead of having to make it on your own. Yeah, how many reference photos of New York exist? Like, there's got to be billions of them. It seems like an easy go-to. So, all right, number three, when Tom Clancy's The Division was first announced, many fans were excited by the idea of the planned ca companion app, which would allow players to do things like fly drones to assist offensive efforts. However, as development continued, Ubisoft thought it would create an unfair, situa or an unfair situations and imbalances, so the app was scrapped. I remember that when they announced it and they showed someone, like, popping in as a drone. And they were like, that was, oh, like, one of the big selling points yeah, of the game. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, like, play it however you want to play it. It sounded and, really fun. Yeah, it sounded kind of cool. Like, if you just want to, like, hey, I'm going to jump on my phone and help somebody out for a little bit. It'd have like, been a shame if they'd included some fun. <laughs> I, think I, I like it. I think the game is pretty fun. Uh, number four, during the game's beta, players could accept game invites by clicking the right stick. However, this was also mapped to the game's melee attack. After noticing players in the beta constantly accepting party invites by accident, Ubisoft changes before final release. Bonus fact, according to creative director Magnus Jansen, the beta was probably the only way they could have found this out due to the nature of the internal testing. Wait, huh. you still click the right stick to join groups? Uh, not always, I When you get the think? matchmaking prompt, wait, it's either to warp to a location. Oh, well, it's, no, it's, it's not to join groups, I guess. Yeah, but yeah. To, when you've matchmade, you still have to hold down the right stick to join the match. Well, I think, I think it's difference between holding it down and it's clicking it. Maybe it was clicking uh, it before, so maybe maybe now you have to hold it, and that's that's what the difference that's was. That's a very vague fact. Yeah, yeah. If you're, if, let us know in the comments which one was the correct one. All right, number five, last but not least. At first, The Division broke the 24-hour sales record for a Ubisoft title. Then a few days later, the game had the biggest first week ever for a new game franchise. Over the first five days, it generated $330 million globally. Wow. That is pretty significant. Congratulations out to Ubisoft Well, it made Division money. So. And to Tom Clancy. So... That's it. Uh, let's get back to it and get up to level 30 and uh, and start doing stuff. I'm so excited. Like, apparently Jeremy raids again. are coming out, or like what is the equivalent of raid is Incursion, coming out I next think? month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. Like like they're doing a bunch of, they have, they, they have a whole like roadmap of DLC coming out. So I don't know if it's free or if it's paid or what, but it looks exciting. Hopefully it'll uh, keep us interested until the first ones hit. So that's it. That's the division. That's five facts in there. And we will see you next time for even more. Still not a game about math. Really disappointed. What's up, guys? It is Jack and Jeremy from AchievementHunter.com. And, Jeremy, we're doing a Five Facts today in Far Cry Primal. This is the, the new game. just came out from Ubisoft. And, uh, I thousand pointed this game. Yeah, you've already perfected this game. It's a, it's a pretty fun game. So it kind of, kind of like, it sort of, not, not snuck out, but it definitely kind of hit pretty quick.